Goshe, uh, what school are you from and what country as well? Uh, I'm from Bangladesh, uh, from the University of Dhaka, and I go to the business school there. It's called Institute of Business Administration. How far along in school are you? I'm a junior there, so um, I have two more years almost left. So is this your first trip to Seattle? Yeah, of course. It's my first trip to America, and I'm finding Seattle a lovely, very, very lovely place to be in. All right, so what's the name of your, uh, of your proposal, and basically, what are you proposing to do? Uh, well, I'm with the One for One IT project. We aim to empower the poor youths of Bangladesh in technology skills, uh, specialize in software development and web application development and also jobs from the global market and then pair the youths with the kind of jobs that they can accomplish. This way, create a sustainable income flow for those youths and er eradicate unemployment and alleviate poverty in Bangladesh. So you're, you're an IT teacher, is that it? Uh, well, I look at the business side of it. We have four people in the team. We have engineering students. We have students from the marketing department. I basically look, for, uh, look after the operations and the plannings. So what kind of uh, IT instruction would you do that's not right now being done through other entities that may be teaching uh, something from Microsoft or, or Apple or Adobe? Well, uh, basically we uh, in Bangladesh, we focus on the youth and give them application-oriented education. Now, this is different from what the mainstream education offers, which I would simply put down as much more theory-based. I mean, like, accomplishing a job for a client is directly, directly so different from just learning something from the books or in a class. We have our curriculum developed and few people who actually worked in the outsourcing industry were involved with developing the curriculum. The way we teach is simply very, very focused on exactly how to serve the clients. So that is where I think we are different because we offer a job-oriented education that guarantees an employment to people who take our courses. Oh, that's fantastic. You guarantee employment for those who take your courses. How, are you, how can you do that? Well, um, first of all, we uh, in the first year, we are teaching about 60 students. So by the time we'll be done with these kids, uh, we will have outsourced, we'll have sourced a few jobs because we have already started building our networks. So it's like if we can source a $2,000 project and uh, if our job instructor uh, designs a solution architecture and uh, breaks it down into modules, so we can easily employ 60 people into that job to accomplish that in a week or so. So it's like if we get about 20 or so project, we can employ about 1,200 students in the first year. 1,200 students in the first year. So if you're guaranteeing a job and the unemployment rate is what in Bangladesh? It's about 4% people are unemployed, but what's more important is 40% people are underemployed and 50 million people live at below less than $2 a day. Wow, so if you're successful, then that means that you're going to cause the employment of an awful lot of people. Yes, of course, and we will be successful and we will change the perception and the status quo in Bangladesh. So let's talk a little bit about you. What was it that made you want to do this? You're clearly a very bright student and, and, and in business, and yet you're working with people at or near the bottom of the economic pyramid. Well, uh, I had a friend of mine who is from the same village as I am. He came to me one day and he asked me that how could he set up a bank account to receive some money from abroad. I was very surprised because as you may know that most people in Bangladesh do not actually have a bank account. So what he told me was he was doing some data entry jobs which he had sourced from internet and the clients were paying him $1,500 a month. So I was very surprised because in our country where most people earn about $60 a day, $1,500, it is a very, very big figure. So later on I learned that there were many more youths like him who were employing themselves, who were literally unemployed because the market did not offer them anything, but they were sourcing jobs for themselves from the global market and employing them. So I thought, why not put these youths in a bridge and connect them with the global outsourcing market so that we can develop skills and and help them accomplish more skilled jobs with better pay. Sounds fantastic. Now, this you indicated this was your first trip to, to Seattle. Uh, how has your experience been here at the Global Social Entrepreneurship Competition? Well, looking at it from a holistic perspective, I'm like, this has been fabulous. On a scale of 10, I rated 10.5. I'm like, I am, uh, I'm given a homestay with a family that is so, so friendly. 
and even in the university where the competitions are i've met a few friends they are they helped me out so much with my project my mentor mr tyson who is a social entrepreneur himself gave me so much of valuable ideas which possibly i could never have le no, learned myself just by reading the books i mean like i i, I learned lots of practical things from them i made a few very very good friends even few faculties in the university expressed interest in my project few investors potentially express the interest in investing in my project so this all in all have been a fantastic vacation or trip or a competition for me well Goshe, uh, good luck on your social entrepreneurship activities take care Thank you. Thank you.